Welcome back. One week from today, the space program takes its first steps back toward putting people on the moon for the first time in decades. When Artemis 1 launches later this month, employees at Stennis Space Center can take pride in knowing they were a major stepping stone in that project. Ansley Brent has details on how a facility in Mississippi is helping make history. Stennis Space Center has a big role to play in NASA's Artemis 1 launch on August 29th. Artemis 1 is the first test that combines both NASA's space launch system and Orion spacecraft. The success of a crewless wide orbit around the moon will validate the design and safety for human exploration missions in the future. The Aerojet Rocket Dyne facility at Stennis is a home for assembly and testing of major engines. At this facility, what we're actually doing, we assemble the RS-25 engines, which are the engines that's going to be uh, the booster engines for the Space Launch System Artemis program, taking our astronauts uh, to the moon and then on to Mars. Daniel said the testing is done in-house before sending the flight engines to New Orleans for assembly and then to Kennedy Space Center in Florida for the finishing touches. Now that we know the process and details of how these engines are made, we'll head to the area where they're tested on site. We're really proud here at Stennis because the core stage for that article was tested here a couple years ago. So it, it arrived early January 12, 2020. Um, we completed hot fire testing. There were multiple tests leading up to that, that eight minute long hot fire test. And it was refurbished and packaged to send to Kennedy in April 2021. And so we're excited to see this test article that we worked so hard on. Calantoni said it is a South Mississippi, South Louisiana project that has taken us back to the moon and they are honored to be a part of it. Artemis 1 is a demonstration test to show the vehicle is ready to take astronauts, which will hopefully lead to Artemis 2 and then 3, where the first female and astronaut of color will be sent to the moon. They will be the first moonwalkers since Apollo 17 in 1972. The long-range plan is to ultimately send astronauts to Mars.